Welcome to another video, Walk on the Wild Side, and I'm here in Blackpool. I'm in the town centre, I'm actually on Queen Street. But there's one of those uh, famous Blackpool Council concrete plant pots. I'm actually in a break in the rain at the moment. Yeah, it's been non-stop rain lately, hasn't it? When is the rain going to stop? And by the way, I've got a bit of a special guest here. I've got Jamie here. Hello. From Jamie's Adventure Vlogs. He's joining us for a little walk around town. Nothing too special this video. I just thought I'd come out today and give you a bit of an update. Just to try to keep you updated on what's going on in Blackpool. As we walk down Queen Street. I normally come down here at night, don't I? Yeah. And here it is during the day. Let's have a little look around. I tell you what, it was quite swanky down here in the olden days, you know. We've got all the, the pubs and the clubs. We've got walkabout, things like that. And we've got this pub here called the Slug and Lessons. I remember when these were shops. And we've got this awning as well. We don't really have many awnings in Blackpool, do we? And I went to Land Dudno, and they've got loads of them there, yeah. So, yeah, it's a little bit different here in Blackpool, but it's a lots of history around anyway we're just going to head down to the promenade and then we're going to come back into the town center and we'll have a look at what's going on Hey Jamie, what do you think of Blackpool Council plant pots? Absolutely. They're uh, interesting, the aren't they? The water, look at this one here, look. You could go paddling that, in that, couldn't you? Yeah. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> Check out these uh, seats you've got here on Queen Street. Over the road there, we've got bar nine. I've got to get bar 19 in. Gonna... Hey, look, I can see some work going on in the crazy horse. I wonder if the crazy horse might be opening again what do you think i can see someone with a set of ladders in there and that's walkabout of course so uh can hear some banging someone knocking on a window or something it's looking pretty quiet folks and uh, i'm just hoping that the rain holds off for this video so we're just coming into queen square now you know there's an old picture going around on facebook of uh Jamie, do you remember, in fact, turn the camera around. Do you remember Morecambe and Wise? They might be before your time, but yeah, there is a is picture. There's a picture on Facebook of Morecambe. I can't show it, I'm afraid, but Morecambe and Wise. And they're riding down here on bikes, down right where I'm stood now. Morecambe and Wise, black and white picture. Can you see the tap dancing seagull in that bed there? And check out this curved bench we've got here. Yeah, so there's a picture going around on Facebook of Morecambe and Wise riding bikes down here, Queen Square, towards the promenade. Yeah, how about that? We've had all the stars here in Blackpool. Check it out, Blackpool Tower. Anyway, we're now here at the Cenotaph. And uh, I just want to show you these... Uh, these lawns here, check out these lawns here at the Senator, aren't they well kept here? Are these the neatest lawns in Blackpool? Well, they're certainly pretty neat. Uh, there might be some lawns at Stanley Park that are just as neat. I did a video about Stanley Park the other day, by the way, telling you how to get there. Not that many people really know much about Stanley Park and it's definitely worth a visit. And it's not that far to get there from the promenade. It's a little bit too early for starlings, but we're down here by the promenade now, just by the North Pier. If you want to see the starling show, check out the video I did the other week with the starlings flocking around the North Pier. Oh my God, I can hear sirens. It's kicking off in Blackpool. It's probably an ambulance. So here's a little look at the North Pier. The tide's going out. Can you see down there? Hey, I think that those are greater black back gulls. You don't see too many of those. We tend to get the herring gulls, don't we? You know, the ones with the grey feathers. A bit like this one down here, but that's a young one. This only a whippersnapper, this one. Aren't you? A little whippersnapper. He's a wee. He or she. <laughs> they might be lesser black bat seagulls, though. I can't really tell. 
they're slightly smaller. The greater blackback ones, they have a massive wingspan. I think it's about, I don't know, four or five foot or something like that. So they're a big bird. If you see, I tell you what, the herring gulls actually, you know, the ones we get all the time. They're pretty big if you see them up close, aren't they? And you don't want to let them get too close, otherwise, if you're eating chips, they'll have them. So how are we looking in Blackpool on this Monday afternoon? It has dried up a bit, which is quite nice. It's just going past the north here. Do you remember the Merry England, Jamie? This was a Merry England, this. Joey Blower. Yeah, yeah. I've heard you talk about that before. It's yeah. now just called the North Pier Bar and Lounge. I think we've got some beer monsters over there going into the shelters. Anyway, let's head this way. I'm going to head, in fact, I'm going to head up there in a minute. I'm going to head back up that way. The North Pier is closed for the winter period. Yeah. You can't go on the North Pier at the moment. Got music playing here as well, so gotta be careful. Don't want to get copyrighted. Okay, this is open. Hello. How you doing? You okay. So it does look pretty quiet, doesn't it, on Blackpool Promenade? What do you think? It's looking pretty quiet at the moment. Let's have a look at this side, shall we? It's a bit murky out there as well, so we're not getting a whole lot. We've had the odd good day lately, but. We've had a lot of rain as well, haven't we, folks? We could do with a good spring because we've got the April, or should I say the Easter bank holiday coming up this weekend, so hopefully it might be saving the good weather up for us. I can hear boys on playing over there, so I better keep my distance because I don't want the music to flag up on the video. But one of the main reasons why I came out today is because I heard that they were doing some work on the tram tracks. You know the tram tracks that go up Talbot Road from the promenade and that's why I came out but unfortunately they seem to have stopped doing whatever they were doing so I thought we'll take a little look up there and we'll see if they, they've been doing anything to the tram tracks and I still don't know when the tram station is going to open but I've just been up there to have a look on the way down and it still looks like it's a while away yet oh it's chaos Got people, you know, drivers tend to panic, don't they, when, a, when an ambulance goes past them. They seem to drive all over the place and on the curves and, and everywhere, don't they? But uh, anyway, let's head up Talbot Road, shall we? Yeah, so this is where the tram tracks turn onto the onto Talbot Road off the promenade here and my goodness this job has been going on for a long time hasn't it can't wait for them to to finish it off I mean you know one set of tram tracks from the promenade how I mean how far is it it's not even half a mile is it from here up there we can almost see the end of the tram tracks and yet we've had to wait all this time and the only stop between the promenade and the end, the terminus, is this one here, can you see? So we've got a stop here, just outside what used to be the Royal Bank of Scotland. Oh, can I can hear sirens again? <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a paramedic, it's one of those little, oh, it's going another way, wow. Hello, a couple of cop cars down there. Yeah, and they've got the sign here, as you can see, Talbot Square. That's the uh, the only stop along the way. Yeah, so we're now just heading past the trilogy. Who remembers when this was Rumours and Jenks and uh, what else was it? I can't remember. Something else. Look at this, the phone box. The phone, the, the, the phone box has actually got a phone in it. Look, look at that. There's a phone in the phone box. There's a one in this one here. Look, hey, there's one in there as well. Look, well, is this yo? <laughs> Getting a wave there from some people across the road. 
just want to show you this church here, Sacred Heart Church on Talbot Road. There's loads and loads of churches in Blackburn. Well, there's loads of churches all over the place. A lot of them have closed down, though, haven't they? But this one is still a functioning church. And the, the interesting thing about it is that this was designed by the son of the guy that helped to design the House of Commons and the Elizabeth Tower, otherwise known as Big Ben. I'll just turn the camera around so you can see the blue plaque. Can you see that there? Architect Edward W. Pugin. Well, that was his name. Connection with the houses of Westminster and Big Ben, or the Elizabeth Tower. There you go. Sacred Heart. Now, I have mentioned this a few times before in videos. The, the repository is connected with the church and uh, it's got one of those sort of, what do you call them, like a tobacco sort of um, screen on the window. You used to see them all the time, you know, to stop the sun blasting everything inside. You don't really see them very often now, do you? Uh, but next door to that, I mean, just look at this here, look, just look at this. This is the thing about Blackpool, you see, there's so many interesting buildings and and doorways like that. I mean, just look at those doors there, aren't they amazing? Well, the road's pretty busy. We're looking down the tram tracks there towards the promenade. I don't see any sign of any work going on at the moment. We're just about to cross Aberdeen Street here. I don't get across. So when will the tram tracks be in use? Just have to wait and see, won't we? Oh, oh, oh. Actually, you know what? I think something's been done here, hasn't it? This is one of the poles that holds the electric cables. So there's something been going on here. What do you think? Yeah? That's a sign of something going on, isn't it? Anyway, let's carry on, shall we? Starting to get a bit rowdy up here now. Are we? <laughs> it's always busy up here because you get a load of people outside these shops here waiting for a bus. And here we've got Heronford. I've never been in Heronford. Never ever been in. I'm told it's owned by Iceland. Is that right? Let me know in the comments. Now oh, we're looking at Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis during the day. I need to keep going at Mark Ellis, you know, the entertainment. It keeps going. This is where the local beer monsters hang out, right here. As you can see. Oh. I'll tell you what, look at this. It is pretty busy on the road. This is Topping Street, by the way. So we'll leave the beer monsters behind at Mark Kelly's and we'll just have a little look and see what's going on up here at the tram terminus or where the trams are supposed to be coming. I thought I'd just give you a little update. Someone's shouting over there. So this is how it looks at the moment. What's the date? March the 26th. I don't know what the date is. How far away do you think it is from opening? Let me know in the comments. I don't think the hotel's open till 1st of, of May. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there now. Thanks to Jamie for joining us on this little no wander around Blackpool. So that's a little bit of an update for you. Found a break in the rain as well. I thought it was never going to stop raining. I really hope it stops raining by this weekend because it's going to be a big weekend, isn't it? Bank holiday. Well, I'll tell you what, there's loads of people coming in. Must be coming in off a train or something. It's getting pretty busy here in Blackpool. There always seems to be something going on, doesn't there? But uh, there you go. I'm going to leave it there now. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.